Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast, where your cast and comments are hosting the North Miami Warriors. A uh, little bit of a late start. You can see that we still have over 18 minutes on the between game countdown. Tonight was the senior night, uh, or is senior night, as a matter of fact. Uh, we honor the uh, six seniors, or well, five senior players and uh, manager. Uh, we've got Betty Lowry, Wyatt Brummett, Matt Rands, Luke Lau, Hunter Shane Lau, and Hunter Schaefer. Uh, we also had quite a number of senior band choir, uh, band and choir members and cheerleaders. So uh, really an awesome, awesome evening. And uh, it was kicked off well with a massive cast and JV win, 65 to 26. Yeah. Um, John Harrell forecasting a victory for the Comets here tonight. Um, it was a 10-point spread forecasted win in the Comets' favor. So uh, definitely exciting. It is absolutely basketball weather out there. It is cold, snowy, icy. Bun it's the stereotypical December Indiana weather. Right. You know, not the end of February. Well, in fairness, traditionally we get some of our worst snows in Indiana in February and March. Uh, the winter decides it just doesn't want to yeah. quite let go. It doesn't want us to start track. They're holding on to basketball season. Yeah, well, we're distance runners. We're crazy. We, we'll go out and run anyway. That's true. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, – about 16 minutes and 45 seconds until tip-off, so you have plenty of time to make sure that you've got your snacks, make sure you've got your beverages. Uh, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors. Thanks for watching Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all of your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Call them at 574-223-6429 or stop by the office located at 824 Main Street in beautiful Rochester, Indiana. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. Nutrient Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrientagsolutions.com to see how Nutrient can help you. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth, or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. 
Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in need of a great insurance plan? Let Evans Agency help you with plans covering home, vehicle, life, business, farm, health, and senior insurance. With over 16 years of experience, Evans Agency will be sure to match you with the perfect plan. Visit them at www.evansagencyrochester.com or call today at 574-224-6988 for a free quote. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 11 and a half minutes, still until tip-off. Uh, but we would like to take this opportunity to remind you that it is National FFA Week. And uh, our cast and chapter has been busy all week long. Uh, had the petting zoo on yes. Monday. Pet petting zoo was Monday. And we brought in all of our animals. And so again, community members came in. And we had all the elementary classes join us. Tuesday was our teacher breakfast. And that was good stuff. It was very good. I got some of that, too. Um, let's see. Wednesday was our chapter carry-in, I believe. Yeah, because today's Thursday, obviously. And today we uh, are setting up for our annual hog roast. So uh, we're pulling the pork tonight. We put them on this morning, early this morning, season them everything. So they'll be uh, fresh and ready for tomorrow and hope to see everyone there. All right. Well, what time? What did, time do doors open tomorrow? I believe 10:30 to 1:30 okay. is our time scheduling. Uh, you can come in. Believe the back doors by the greenhouse are open. Uh, we've had some times where people come in through the uh, front office, but usually we just have you come in through the doors by the greenhouse. Right, and, and you'll just form your line there. There's a lot more parking back there. Yeah. And yes. um, that is. Door six, as I recall, that is on the northeast corner of the building. Um, and once again, the school's address is 9815 South State Road 25, just south of Fulton, Indiana. If you're going to put it in your GPS, you should be able to find it just searching for Caston, but it is a Rochester address. So uh, come on in. It's uh, still free will donation. It is 100% free will donation. We encourage anyone to come whether you donate or not um, it's just great being able to see everyone come out and you know on top of that our community has supported us enough that we don't expect anything back they supported us so this is our way of giving back to them it's great food great desserts come hungry uh, once again that is tomorrow february 28th from 10 30 a.m to 1 30 p.m at 9815 south state road 25 in Rochester, Indiana, just south of Fulton, Indiana, for this address. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind how the Indiana addressing system works. And uh, come down, eat your fill of pulled pork. Got pulled pork. I believe there's coleslaw, sauerkraut, applesauce. Got everything you ever want. And uh, I'm going to let everybody know, I'm not usually a sauerkraut person, but the sauerkraut here is really good. It's got carrots in it. It's got potatoes in it. It's fantastic. So... Um, and then, moving on from there, um, next Tuesday starts Boys 1A sectional that is hosted 
by Caston. Uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening, you can catch the Pioneer and South Newton game. Uh, we'll obviously, the um, the Pioneer uh, commentators will be working on that. So, which is good because they they their know their team. athletes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, and then I don't remember. It's Thursday or Friday that we. Uh, we drew the bye, so we should have Friday. Yes, yes. So it'll be Friday evening. We'll be casting, and then uh, Saturday will be the finals. So yes, uh, hopefully casting again. Really hoping so. Uh, the guys have had a really overall a pretty decent season. We we're coming through a rough patch right now, so hopefully the guys have their heads in the game and uh, just play the basketball that we know that they can play. Oh, yeah. Um. It's been a really pretty amazing season overall for the guys um, coming. It, it's watching them come together as a team and come together with the coaching staff. This is uh, Coach Davis's third year with the program, and you really see that the guys are buying in, the guys are meshing together, and all of that is so, so very important. Yeah, uh, it, it's amazing because... You know, I remember in years past, and like I don't really hear it so much this year, I guess. I mean, there's probably still those few that are wishing for it to be over, but I know in the like, past years, it's I just want baseball season or I just want the next sport or to get out of school. Right. And they're just so ready to be out of basketball season. But this year has just served them all so well, and they've come together as a team that it's fun and exciting to be here, and they want to keep playing together and with each other. And yeah. so it's really cool to be able to see the program come together like that. Absolutely. And I've got to say, as a as a coach, that's it's one of the hardest things is as the season is coming to a close, um, keeping the athletes' heads in this season. So um, it, it's good to see that these guys are still absolutely all in and uh, ready to play. So uh just over six minutes till tip off. So once again, if you haven't taken the opportunity to get your snacks ready, well, now's a good time to do that. Uh, if you do have your snacks, why don't you uh, stick around? We're going to have some words from our sponsors, and Aubrey and I will be back here in just a few minutes. So you're watching Comets Basketball and Casting TV on RTC TV4. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40-point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next, we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. First Federal Savings Bank can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide a little spending cash with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit allows you to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our local experienced lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Hi, I'm John Oliver. We love our customers and we work hard to prove it every day. Buy a car? Get free car washes for the life of that car. When your car needs service, we provide a new loaner at no charge. Plus, we give you a complimentary alignment check each time we service your car. That increases tire life. And when you do need tires, we sell them at the lowest price guaranteed. Feel the love at Oliver Ford Lincoln and Plymouth. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? 
But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. First Federal Savings Bank has offered mortgage loans for over 50 years. Now we're also offering commercial lending. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer loans for commercial real estate, equipment, and business lines of credit. Call any one of our branch locations to see if we can help. You're not just a number at First Federal Savings Bank, you're part of our family. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just under a minute here, we're gonna have starting lineups in the national anthem. And then we're gonna get some basketball underway here on this wonderful February Thursday evening. You know, Blair, sitting right here right now, it's kind of weird, because it's like, I only have about a couple more games where I'll actually be commentating and right. be a part of it too. I mean, I'm graduating along with the senior boys tonight, and I remember my senior night, it was like, it's my last time playing on my court, but right now I'm like, this is the last time I'm commentating for the casting comments as a casting comment. Well, no, we've got we've got we've at got least sectionals, sectionals. Um, but that's and, and that's true. But games. then you can come back as a boilerette and it's true and true. just uh, keep your information current with uh, with the main office. And uh, I absolutely would appreciate having you next to me with the headset on. All right. Come to sing our national anthem.
or varsity basketball between the North Miami Warriors and the Caston Cummins. Starting lineups tonight. First for North Miami, number 14. All right, Nate North Musselman. Miami. We've got starting lineups. Number 14, Nate Musselman. Number 20, Darian Hanley. Number 24, Greg Sonnefrank. Number 32, Braxton Beal. Number 40, Braden Burns. And Matt Storm is in his third year coaching the Varsity Warriors. All right, and for the comments, we've got number three, Wyatt Brummett. He's six foot, he's a senior, he's number four. Number four, Luke Lau. He's six five, he's a senior, he's number 13. Number 13, Hunter Shainlob. He's six two, he's a senior, he's number 33. Number 33, Mike Rands. And we're starting Hunter Schaefer. And once again, Coach Carl Davis is uh, is coach for the Comets in his third season. Good luck to both teams. Whoa! Wow, those lights, lights are bright. Lights, lots of bright. All right, we have uh, Mikey Rand starting in the middle ring tonight. And tip goes to Hunter Schaefer. Look at that smile. He's so happy. He this is such an amazing the moment for him. Best smile ever. All right, now put our points on the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his. Uh, but that's such a great moment for him to be able to, um, you know, be out there, especially with Hunter. Yeah. They, they have yeah. such a strong and unique bond. You know, it's great to be able to see the uh, North Miami Warriors also going along with it. And, yeah. You know, just letting us have that moment and being so supportive. Well, and and even their uh, fans here tonight standing up feet, and cheering. Yeah. yeah. Really just being a part of it all. Mm. I know the same thing. They did the same for football season. That was an amazing moment, too, for him to be able to score, like, the first touchdown and everything. It yeah. was really special. It, it, it was awesome. And uh, I didn't cry during that. You did. <laughs> and the tip goes to the Comets. Joey Spin across the half court line. Kicks it to the right to Wyatt Brummett. Brummett's going to come to the top of the key back to Spin. Spin out at the center ring, over to Rands. Little bit of a pump fake there by Lau. Into the paint to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb kicks it back out to Joey oh. Spin, who's open for three. Nice. And that's how we're going to start the... Uh, I think that was a two. Yep, oh, that was a long two. two. Long two. I, I could have sworn he jumped behind the line when he caught it. Because he had like a little bit of a hot back when he caught it. Instead of going to it, he kind of like right. went back. Oh, wow. Warriors, uh, we got number 40, Burns, sending it back out to Son of Frank. Son of Frank going down to the baseline. He's going to oh. pull back for a long two off the rim. Comets rebound. He pulled that right in front of uh, Brownman. I mean, he was right there guarding. Yeah. He just stepped back, shot it. I mean, it, didn't fall, but it was still. It was a clean shot, yeah. Yeah. I've had to tell. Uh, oh. Three-pointer for Brummett uh. off the mark. I, I've had to make that mention that to several athletes that 
when a shot hits the rim like that, it wasn't a bad shot. It just didn't fall the way you needed it to. Yeah, but there's sometimes where bad shots get very lucky well, to make true. them look like good shots. I mean, you know, you just have those situations where they kind of go oh, yeah. in and throw it up, and it's like, they. Either, I mean, when they make it, it looks like, oh, okay, maybe that was a good shot, but it really wasn't. Shane Love from the paint. Let's give my hunter, Shane Love, Rins with the assist. That was just a, a clean pass play there. North Miami left the lane open. Three-pointer, three. and it drops for Nate Musselman. There was no hesitation right nope. there. He just got shot. I Boom. seem to recall from last year that Musselman will, uh, if he's on the floor, he's just about in range. Mm -hmm. uh, but but kind of looking at who they have and watching their, fir their first couple of plays down the floor, that's what they're going to need because the comments aren't really letting anything get inside. Nope. nope. And These guys know it's their senior night, and yeah. they're going to. They're going to go out. Hard. Leave Absolutely. it all on the court. Rands, first free throw, a little too hard. Into the game for the Warriors, number 10, Tristan working. And we have number 10, Tristan working, coming in for the Warriors. From the times I've seen him play, working just a phenomenal all around athlete. Oh. Rands, a little jump short ball. on that one. Almost had his own rebound, ended up being a jump ball. It's always kind of impressive to me when uh, the person at the free throw line can get their own rebound. You know, you are right. allowed to move on the shot, but the person behind the line is not allowed to move until it hits the rim. Right. But they still get their own rebound. Ball over to Burns, up to working. Over to Beal. Beal sends it left, back to Burns. Oh, well, Brummett Brummett almost had it. Nearly picking a pocket there. Just Beal puts it up, off the mark. Comments with the rebound. Oh, and Joey was just about out of bounds. Nice fake there by Lau. Getting oh, in trouble, wow. though, oh, on the dribble. Okay, that was a foul. That was a bit of a foul that, that didn't get but called. But it's all right. Yeah, by a bit of a foul, I mean, it. there was a hatchet there. You know, but maybe that's just how this game is going to go. Well, you know, and that could well be. Because, I mean, um, we also had another one down here that, that it probably should have been a foul, but it wasn't necessarily called. And I'm going to say that the JV game, they kind of let them play a little bit. So yes. that can make for some exciting basketball, especially with two schools as, as close geographically as these schools are. Long three for uh, Shane Lobb, and it was off the mark. Warriors with the rebound working. Oh, and kicks it out to Musselman. Musselman, nice fakes on those threes. He's committing, uh, getting Rands to commit vertically mm -hmm. on that. Oh. And we're going to have a foul called here as uh, Burns tried to drive to the basket. Foul there is on number four, Luke Lau. His first, team first. And we got Kate Zider and Cam Klein coming in for the Comets. Had a foul called over here, uh, and they're sending it to White. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, I think he pushed off of him. Uh, work yeah. Off. Foul there on Tristan working. Yeah, he went and he shoved him. Gotcha. You're kind of not allowed to do that. <laughs> right? Well, and these North Miami fans not happy about it. Comments working the ball past the press. And I've got to say, a press like that in the last couple of years might have forced a turnover. Zyder yes. with a three, and drops it. Working. Quick pop-up jumper just off the near side of the rim. Oh, wow, just stealing that. And we had a foul underneath. Wow, North Miami, they just, they do not waste time. They hardly stop before they're up with a shot. Uh, if you're able to make those pop shots like that, though, it absolutely, I mean. I mean, they're not hitting you, them right now, but if right. they start hitting them, that could It could be could trouble, yeah. First free throw there by Beal is good. Greg Sonnefrank back in for North Miami. Beal with his second. It's up and drops. 
Warriors oh, with that full almost. court press. Cross court to Rands. Rands to the right side. Back out to Zyder to spin. Spin to Klein. Klein for three, and it's good. good. Coach Storm telling uh, telling North Miami guys, slow it down just a little bit, play their game. Yeah, they definitely Muscleman. have gotten into a bit of a running game. It, right. I mean, we're, right now we're showing up with Working, it. fakes that three, tries to go baseline. Oh, oh, and, a, oh yeah. wow, travel. travel. I, I wasn't they sure which way they were going to call that. It's on one of them underneath, because I saw one of the arms go across his shoulders. Yeah, but, shoulders but Working was, was doing some hop moves there. Yes. So. Comets working the ball across midcourt. Oh, there we go. Klein got away with a little Slowing bit of a stutter back. step. Whoa, and Zyder cut. Comets just got a little sped up on that one. Definitely was not their most communicative play. Yeah, no, and, and with the five, pulling a five-point lead out already, they really just need to slow it down. They need to play their game their way. There's mm -hmm. no reason to, uh, to, to hurry it up. You know, I don't really understand because, oh, that was a really nice play there by um, Shane Mob and Joey. I thought he was going to go for it, but he didn't. He passed it right off to Shane Lob, and it it was smooth. Son of Frank nearly lost that there. Three-point attempt by Hanley, no good. Rands across midcourt. Over to Klein. Klein with the head fake. Back to Rands at the center ring. Son of Frank all over him. Up to the free throw line to Shane Lobb. Warriors uh, pulling into a zone now. Oh, ah, and just getting picked off there. Son of Frank weaving his way through, shoots it from the elbow, off the mark. Comets rebound. Rands dishing it into the paint. That was. It wasn't pretty. It was. But that it was works. a hard pass to make. There was definitely a lot no, of people he, there, but the he zipped it there. It was going to go to a spot no matter what. Working in triple coverage. Oh, that was. No, it wasn't. Uh, Zyder got a hand on it. But even after he fumbled it, because he brought it back onto this side, and then he switched hands, and it was on the line. Whoa, oh, I'm not sure gosh. what that was. I don't was. know what's happening. <laughs> Hanley to Musselman. Musselman going to pull it up and shoot a three. I feel like this may or may not become a very, very physical game by the end of this. I have a feeling they're going to have to quit letting things ride because it's going to become it's just It's already hatches. kind of. Yeah. But, you know, you don't know how much of it is acting, you know. Right. There's a lot of that, right. too. Oh, but yeah, you got to sell you your know, fouls. Uh, if you want to get the call, you got to sell it. We definitely don't want anyone getting hurt tonight, especially going into sectionals right. for both teams. Oh, absolutely. Oh, look. Uh, Shane Lobb a little bit trapped. He kicks it to spin. He's going to go baseline. Reverse layup. A little too oh, hard. Rands with the rebound Rance. and ah. can't get it to drop either. I mean, it was a good putback, good take uh, by both of them, actually. I kind of thought Shane Lobb was going to kick it out to the opposite side, too, though. Working into the paint. And drops it. Looks good. 27 seconds left in the first. This has been an exciting first quarter. It has been a very exciting first quarter. Double coverage on spin there. Sends it to Rands. Zone That's gonna, extending out. Ooh. Ooh. Well, son of Frank reaching in there. Up say, to Klein at Their ring. coverage up top could serve to be very uh, harmful Absolutely. for the Comets. Eight seconds. Five. Now three. There's the last short. shot of the quarter, and it's short. It's all right. We're still up. We got it 14-7. And with that, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectations, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, after one, Comets 14, Warriors 7. Very exciting first quarter. If you missed it, you're going to have to go back and catch the encore. Or make sure to subscribe to RTC4 so that you get your uh, video on demand. Uh, I've got to say, really, uh, really even on turnovers in that first quarter. So uh, both teams going to want to clean that up going on through the rest of the evening. You know, and what I noticed from both of these teams is they're both athletic. They're both quick. Uh, right now, the Comets are getting most of their points because they're getting the rebounds on the other end. North Miami, they put up a shot, and they're gone. Well, we've, and we've talked about that mm -hmm. every game we watch. If you're not going to crash the boards, you're giving the other team opportunities. Uh, but it's also kind of fascinating because up top, they the Comets have been getting into a lot of trouble. Because, and we can see, see it right here. They yeah. pull out that one person, leaving the others back, and then we pick up the ball and get into double coverage or even he, triple coverage. We've seen up yeah, at the center we've ring. Yeah, we've seen triple coverage. I mean, it's messed up. Even Zyder Joey for three, and it's, it's good. good. But even their uh, press has messed up the comments and forced them to speed up, and that's the main purpose of a press to begin with: is to speed them up and force them to mess up. Right. Three-pointer here by right Graydon Right in the eye, oh my goodness. They, it does, I don't know how close you have to be to get them to not shoot it. <laughs> Rock Wolf gonna pull it up, send it over to Klein on the right. Right corner to Zyder. I thought he was going for He's it. He's going for it. There's the skip pass and it's another good, good three. Zyder on fire with those threes here tonight. Working across midcourt. Over to Son of Frank. Oh, there we go. Son of Frank getting trapped. He's gonna send it over to Burns. And we've got an elbow jumper here for uh, Donaldson. No good. Comments with that rebound. Rockwolf getting away with a little bit of a rough the pass. Three. Oh. And Klein just can't Ryan get that to drop. across the rim right there. North Miami not wasting any time getting it down the floor. Wow, I'm not sure what happened there. We just walked away and let uh, Working pull up the jumper. Well, we're lucky that he didn't hit it. I absolutely. Mean, he's proven in the past, I believe, to be one of their best shooters. Oh, absolutely. Comments moving that ball working around. Working is definitely very fast, though. I mean, he just got from the elbow clear up there to Cameron. Three-pointer for Zyder, and oh, it drops. Oh, it's good. I thought that was going to pop right back out of there. And North Miami's Probably a call lot of words out. that North Miami has to say right now. I'm glad I'm not down there next <laughs> on the sidelines. So we'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide selection of valuable services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer business loans and business checking accounts. Give us a call at any one of our branch locations and let us help you. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Ball just inbound to working. Send it to Center Frank, and he's going to send it to the top of the key to Hanley. Oh, wow! That I was can't a believe body. that wasn't a that foul. That was a body. And three pointer. It's good. Three pointer there for Braxton Beal. Three point basket for Beal. Brock Wolf slowing We're going to have down. some unhappy fans if this keeps going. Very physical like that, because it was a very clear body oh, up down absolutely. there. Absolutely. Lau to Zyder, over to Rockwolf. Rockwolf pivoting, looking Kinda for help. Getting into a tiffy right there. 
Zyder to Lau. Over to Rands. Looking to go baseline. Nice I ball movement. I say someone is open. There and we go. Three-pointer for Luke Lau. Well, they had a warrior go down, and that meant someone was supposed to be left open. And look how fast the ball is down to the other end. That's oh, just they are not it's wasting incredible. any time with getting the ball back Son down Frank, the end. He fakes it. He sends it up to Hanley. And travel. travel. Well, if we're gonna keep calling travels and letting them play schoolyard ball, this is gonna be an exciting game. Oh my goodness, this is. Could end up being a very long game, too, though, if they do end up calling them by the end of this. Well, that's true. Uh, and that could be bad for both teams. The guys get used to playing physical. Oh, that was a oh. quick shot. Oh, okay, but that's good. I think. Like, it looks like he's calling it on Are center, Are they calling Frank. it on 24? Yes. Yeah. All Great right. center, Frank. His second team, third. 14, Musselman back in for the Warriors. Musselman back in for the Warriors. Going to put Burns on the bench for a minute. Ball into Smith. Up to Rands. Running Syracuse. Zyder's going to... Oh. Zyder a little overzealous on that. But Rockwell with the put back, though. Perfect positioning there for it. Working. Going for the basket. And that's what's going to get us in trouble is he is not afraid to drive. He just ducks oh, yeah. his head and he goes for it. And we're not going to be able to get in the way to stop him. Right. And we're just going to pick up the fouls. Foul there was on Sam Smith, his first. Musselman sends it in to Hanley. Hanley under double coverage. Back to Musselman. Musselman Ooh, with that wow. pop-up three. Off the mark. Shane Lobb getting that rebound. Thomas now having sent it out to a 15 point oh. lead. Yep, there's and a foul. Foul there on uh, Darian Hanley. That'll be his first, team fourth. Fouls on number 20. Hanley is first, team fourth. We got Joey Spin Joey coming Spin back in. Back in That was a great wow. basket. Great. He just powered through that. Son of Frank, cross timeline. Screen over. Tries to send it down underneath the Hanley. Passes Would a little too high. Would have been a high. good play, just yeah, just a little too high timeout. on that pass. North Miami, North Miami calling a full timeout. We'll be back after these words here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. Do you have questions about Medicare supplement insurance? Let's sit down and talk. Here at First Federal Savings Bank, you'll meet with a licensed local agent to explore your different options. We can customize a plan that fits your needs and budget. Call me 574-223-1705 for a free consultation. Welcome back. Three and a half minutes left in the half. Cast on 30, North Miami 13. Comets have just really gone on a run, cleaned up their turnovers here in the first half of this quarter. And uh, we will see. We'll see if the uh, timeout did any good for the Warriors. Spin into triple oh, coverage. Dishes it down to uh, Lau on the right. Lau tries to send a baseline, bunch of bobbling. There go. Wow. And uh, North Miami had it, couldn't quite keep it. Cam Klein coming back in to, for the Comets. 
And we've got Kate Zider coming out, take a break. Oh. Line down to the post. There we go. There's Shane Love. If the Promise can get in there, the post is usually wide open. Oh, wide open three-pointer there off the mark. Oh, get the rebound. Come on. There we go. Comments with that rebound. Klein nearly losing it. Up to spin. Once again. And oh, travel, travel call. Once again, uh, the Warriors just forcing a very, very fast and athletic game here that um, they're able they're, – they've kind of been able to force some turnovers with the Comets uh, trying to get down and out of the way. Oh. Working, nice fake. He's going to take the jumper from the free throw line, and that one drops for him. That one drops. He, like, pauses in midair and then that. shoots. But it's not, like, even just, like, a small pause. It was like he was there, I swear, for, like, two yeah, seconds. Like, he just held it. Gravity became optional at that point. Yeah. It's like, did the apple actually fall from the tree? No, it just stayed midair. Louder rands. Comet's now slowing it down. Musselman coming out, face guarding Rands. Oh, I thought he was going to pop up for I it. I did too. He's thinking about it. Well, I like the fact that every Comet out here on the three point line, they're chambering the shot and then sending it off. And so they're really keeping North Miami oh, ooh, working, on, nearly Luke. picking that off. Comet's going to have to watch those. Uh, there we go. There we go. I, know, I noticed Mike was actually working really hard. He was really getting it in there. Like He had him pinned off the entire time. It was just a matter of getting the ball and recognizing that he was there. Son of Frank over to Beal. Working. Nice stop and go for working. Can't quite make that basket. Comments with the rebound. Spin. Oh coast my to gosh. Coast. Wow. <laughs> I am not sure what exactly that was, but well, I was going to say we take another look at it, and I didn't have the computer set right. But that was that was that so was high beautiful. up on the glass. That was I know insane. I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's not such a great shot. But he just he went for, it. but he makes a lot of those shots too all the time. Where well, you know you kind of like why why is he driving? Like you can't do that. There's three people there, and he just goes right in between them, and it's a beautiful shot and really helps the comments out. Well, I think I think some of that goes back to like we've talked about before that spin practices at home on the driveway. So you know he just plays a lot of. At home, he plays a lot of barnyard basketball. And so sometimes you, you start dialing in those crazy shots and being able to do ball handling on gravel and things like that. And then when yeah. you come out here on the hardwood, it, it's like it's like turning a game back to easy mode. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, I mean, once he's driving, he's driving. And rarely have I seen the ball get picked up away from him, especially yeah. without a fight. Oh, yeah, he is an incredible ball handler. Oh. Double coverage on the Musselman. Lobs it cross court. Yeah. Little too much. Had Thomas a, really just driving in there with that coverage, and they got what they needed out of it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they definitely wanted them to mess up from that. If you can, if you can trap somebody with two on the sideline, they're in a world of hurt. Oh yeah. Rands to spin. Ooh, spin awful close to that half court line. Luke in that double coverage oh. now. Gets the ball just taken right out of his hands. Oh, I don't and think. And Braxton Beal putting it in for two. I don't know if he actually touched him, but you know, out of all the out of all of the fouls that we have witnessed, That's both ways, Beal. like even more physical than that, they call that one. I mean, right. there's been ones where they full on like kind of yeah, that hit was, him across the face and that That was pretty soft. first. Spins first, and Beal getting three the hard way. Shane Lobb all by himself. Puts oh. it up a little too much. Gets his own rebound. Well, nearly oh, gets his own rebound. Swatted out of bounds by Son of Frank. 27 and three-quarters seconds left in the half. 
Comets with a an 18 point lead. Wow, right into the post to Rams. Rams for two. Mike's really just powering through him. Today. I mean, they have the coverage down low and they have the strength that he's just going right through them. Son of Frank to Beal. Beal dishing oh. out to Musselman. Musselman for three off the side of the rim. Or excuse me, off the side of the backboard. Five seconds. Oh, and no, no, no. Uh, foul oh, called him. Foul right there. Yep, the number four, Luke Lau. That's his second. Team fifth. It's all right, though. We only have two seconds left in the score. And they're taking him off. You know, North Miami is really picking up their defense now, messing with the Comets. I think that if they would have been playing this way the entire time, it could have been a different game. Working two-point shot off the mark at the buzzer. So going to the locker room, Comets 38, North Miami 18. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors, and we'll have some halftime stats for you. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. If they actually added as much enthusiasm as it needs. Nice. And most of them don't even know it. Do you think this is embarrassing for them? Sorry. I just mean, like, it's, I guess now I have to explain myself. It's just the audience is kind of just like, Staring. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, the, oh, a lot of the audience not like getting into yeah, it. Yeah, like that's always my thing. Is like, cause see, the thing about acting is like you can't see the people, so you're kind of just doing your thing on stage, but you can't see the people who are watching you. Right. I don't think I could be out there dancing with everybody watching me, like all eyes literally on me. I mean, kudos to them though. You didn't tell me that gave a move. <laughs> Sorry. Just having all sorts of excitement up here tonight. Yeah. This is a lot to memorize, too. I had to memorize oh. like a five minute workout routine and I was dying, but. I, uh, I helped. I helped them put the music together. They had the songs and stuff and they just needed uh, stuff mashed together and, and, uh, and um, this whole thing is something like five or six minutes long. Oh, wow. I haven't even heard most of these songs. That tells you how, like, out of date I am, I guess, because I was born wrong decade. Don't really listen to music except for 80s music, so. It's kind of crazy though this year that we only have one sen senior cheerleader. You know, that's kind of uncommon for our cheerleaders. Like usually we have several. Last year I know we had a couple and the year before that we had a lot. But you know, it's cool to be able to have this moment for Hannah, have her team around her, and be able to share that with all the guys. Um, so it's kind of a sentimental night for everybody actually. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Hi, and I'm president of student council. And on Saturday, February 29th, 8 through 10, our annual Sweethearts dance is going on. Tickets are $5 at the door. 
And so in order to celebrate, we wanted to do a little half turn. So the rules are simple. If you make a free throw, you stay in. If you miss, you're out. You pay a dollar to either Mr. Evans or Mr. Overmeyer in each half. And you play for a bigger prize. The longer you stay in, the bigger the prize. So is it knockout? How about it? Basically? I believe so. All right. Well, while they yeah. are down on the court doing some uh, halftime activities, we have some halftime or some first half stats for you guys. Uh, once again, as you can see up on the board, Comets went into the locker room with a commanding 20 point lead. Uh, Comets shooting six for 11 from outside. Shooting 10 for 13 inside. Now, once again, though, most of those inside shots, uh, they haven't taken them if they haven't been from the post. Unfortunately, only uh, two opportunities from the line, and we're 0 for 2 out there tonight. Uh, Comets, six turnovers in the first quarter, only three turnovers in the second quarter. Uh, so nine turnovers total in the first half. They really did get turnovers under control. North Miami, shooting 33% outside, uh, three for nine. Shooting only 25% inside the arc, three for 12. They are three for three from the free throw line, all three of those by Braxton Beal. Uh, North Miami with seven turnovers in the first quarter and nine in the second. So sitting on 16 turnovers right now. Uh, they uh, went in the locker room with four first half fouls. Comets had five. Both teams have one player sitting on two fouls. So we will uh, have to see how the second half goes. Once again, if uh, if the officials start calling these fouls a little bit stricter, both teams might be in trouble really quickly. Yeah, oh, definitely. 952. And uh, but there again, uh, both teams. I'm sure uh, their their coaches are probably telling them to watch out for for that. Make sure to clean up turnovers. Uh, you know, just your normal locker room halftime yeah. talk. I mean, I can't imagine even with the lead that the Comets have, the, uh, Coach Davis is probably in there telling them, look, game's not over, we got two quarters. The way I look at it is, okay, we scored 38 points in two quarters. They can do the exact same thing to us. Absolutely, I mean, absolutely. And, and honestly, if, if their defense shuts down our offense in the second half and they can just double their score, okay, they need to do just a touch more than that. But if, if their defense shuts down our offense, they'll have the opportunity mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. um, no game's over until, you know, until that final we buzzer. We just need to come out with the same Absolutely. Uh, the guys that they want came this. out with to be good. Yeah, and I mean, it's cool to win senior. I can say that from my own experience. I mean, you know, going into it, I was kind of like, all right, this is, this is it. We'll see what happens, but to be able to win, it's, it's really cool, especially because it's not often that cast and teams have won, especially for the boys, this many games anyway. If they win tonight, right. they'll be 500. Right, and they, the uh, the guys have had the guys have had several seasons where it's just been a struggle. Um, mm -hmm. They've not meshed with coaches. They've not messed with each other. There's just been not enough depth of talent. I mean, yeah, and they finally fallen into their spots, and they, you know, accepted that you know maybe I'm not needed in this spot, but I can step up in this area. Absolutely. And so they've really looked at that and analyzed it, and they've really worked well together. Yeah, as a coach, it's so important to have athletes who are willing to do what needs done. Yes. Um, because. Even even in the running sports, I've worked with athletes who uh, only want to do this, only want to do it their way, uh, don't want to, yeah, and, and running is hard to a degree. Uh, number one, running is hard, but uh, number, number two, running is difficult from 
the overall aspect because it is an individual team sport. And very, very mental. Right, it's very mental. Um, but so it sometimes it can be a struggle getting an athlete convinced, yes, I want what's best for you. We want what's best for you, but we also want what's best for the team. Mm -hmm. And so getting an athlete to be pliable. Yes. And so to see to see athletes out here, um, we've got guys who used to traditionally be inside who are more outside. Mm -hmm. We've got guys who used to always bring the ball down who are now power forward. Uh, we've just had those we've had those transitions where everything is falling into place. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have just over two and a half minutes until the second half starts. And this has been an exciting ball game. So uh, go ahead and refill your, your snacks, refill your drinks, and uh, come back here in two and a half minutes to watch the second half of this game. You're watching Comets Basketball on Caston TV on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. We have 70 seconds until the second half starts. Uh, do you have anything to add to John Harrell's prediction at this point? Well, I hope they're right. I mean, so far the comments have proven that they they can win this. Uh, but, you know, I, it just kind of concerns me because in the last couple of seconds there, the, the Warriors picked up their defense. Mm -hmm. They were going a lot more aggressive. They were pulling it out, trapping us uh, up here in the corners right across half court. And that really messed us up there for a little bit. They got several open shots just right, right. Well, just and, from going hard. And so they've that got can, Tristan working, yeah. who is a beast from every place I've seen him on the court. Uh, he can get inside, he can pick it up and shoot it outside. We got Nate Musselman who can take the ball at the arc and as soon as it touches his hands, fire it off. Uh, who else have we seen out there? Is, uh, Greg Sonnefrank uh, has gone and gotten in there. He has taken the ball right out of our Comets' hands and then run down the court with it. Just a lot of athleticism uh, on the part of the Warriors. So we absolutely can't let up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially because the Warriors are definitely, they're not going to let down. Like, they know oh, no. this is still winnable for them. Like, any game is winnable if you have at least two right. minutes. A lot can happen in two minutes. And there is Tristan working, drawing first blood in the second half. Again, just pulling it up right in front of several defenders. Just, you know, rising above them. Oh, oh Harry. And... Comet's going to start their first possession with a turnover, unfortunately. All right, working. Pulls up like he's going to take the same jump shot that he just took. Son of Frank passing it off to Beal. Beal to Hanley. Hanley goes baseline. Oh. Gets swatted by. Uh, Picked from behind. Shane Lobb into Rands, back to Shane Lobb. And head baseline, kicks it out to spin. 
Comets once again uh, starting the half with all their seniors on the floor. Comets moving the ball around. And this is what they need to do. Yeah, they're right? really taking their time to they, analyze what's going to be open to them. They've got that, that long lead. Oh. And uh, Lau off the mark with that shot. Warriors with that rebound. And oh. I know they're going to call that a foul. Oh, no. He tripped over someone's foot. I think he just happened to catch Shane Lau. Oh, the they called it on Mike. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Comet's first in the half. It's Rand second in the game. Second? Okay. Wow. Son of Frank nearly, nearly trips coming in. We've got another foul here, and it's a foul on the shot. Foul's on, four, Foul's on Luke Lau. Wow, that's his third. And I don't see that Coach Davis has any option but to pull him at this point. Yeah, no. And that's how Fouls quickly a game can change. Say, Fouls could definitely become a factor in this if we keep handing them out like a candy right now. Yeah, Hanley's first shot off the mark. We've got uh, Brummett and Lau coming off the floor. And Zyder and Klein back in. Hanley putting that second one up. It's off the back. Comets rebound. Working, meeting Rands at the half heavy, court line. Heavy defense up there. I mean, he's a great defender. He's fast. He's low. He's fat. He's aggressive. Mhm. Mm I mean, he can, he knows his his limits. Uh, how many fouls does he have? Uh, oh. Working only has spin. one foul. One, yeah, I mean. Spin getting that, that shot off of the bump. That's another one of those that could have been called if they wanted to. Oh, get the ball, get the ball. And, <laughs> oh, uh. Rand's foot hit the half, or hit the out of bounds line. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't call him for a travel. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, but see the ball was never actually secured, so they can't call it for a travel. It would have been the same net result. Well, yeah. And, uh, Hanley back to Beal. Three. Off oh. the mark. Or excuse me, that was Smith. Ran, or Rans. Chainlock Chain coast Lock. to coast for two. Lane just opened wide open for that's, him. There's, that that's happened a couple times that just all of a sudden the, the water's no part. No one. Wow, that was an incredible basket. Here, let's take a look at that again. Okay, you should have got that one. The working comes down the court and just hangs there. That was incredible. All right, and we're back. Oh, get the rebound. Comments rebound there. Three. Oh, oh just off. off the front of the rim. See, the comments just look like their timing has gotten thrown off. And of course, having said that, they are sitting on a 20 po or 22 point lead. Yes, but you know what? They might be out of time a little bit, but they also have plenty of time to get back well, into that. Yeah, they've got time um, to, to pick their timing back up and they've got that cushion. That's see, the thing, they, they can sit here and trade punches now with the, uh, with the Warriors. That's the good thing about their position three, right now. Cade Zider for three is they have the opportunity to slow down and get back in their rhythm while North Miami is just trying to buy baskets at this point. You know, they're taking what they can get and right. just putting them up. Yeah, once again, they can go down and if, if we sit here and just keep Comets basket, Warriors basket, Comets come out ahead. That's, that's just all there is mm -hmm. to it at this point. As a matter of fact, at this point, we could very nearly trade two-pointers for three-pointers and still come out to the good. That Rance. was a great move. That was awesome. That was awesome. Working up in the volleyball line. Beal back to working. Working with some fakes. Tries to oh, send it to Hanley. Oh, there we go. Zyder picking Come that on, off. Zyder. 
Oh, oh. and get. Wow. wow. That was, that was brutal. Yeah, wow. Who, who's gonna take, a, who's gonna walk off with the foul here? This point is just, I think it's just rock, paper, just scissors. Pick one. Foul is on number 32, Braxton Beal. His first, team first in the half. I mean, they caught his head in that and everything. Just took him out. He got three concussions now. <laughs> Just yeah. a little too hard on that shot. It's from getting hit in the head. And uh, we have Keegan Donaldson and Connor Wilson coming in for the Warriors. So are two new faces. We haven't seen this Correct. at all this game so far. Makes my job harder. Well, yeah. I'm bad at names anyway. I call Z out numbers. Zyder can't quite hit either of those. North Miami getting the rebound. Working with that open nope, three off. off the mark. Comets rebound. Nice fake there. Chain three. lob for three. Off. A little too hard. Rams, Rams getting that rebound. Nice. There's a three for Cam Klein. See, and honestly, the Comets just have a great opportunity to move the ball around and look for the open three. And they can sit here and just take threes. They're very fortunate this year. They have been gifted with a group that they have outside shooters. Oh, that's, absolutely. That's they, really where... Um, you know, a lot of teams struggle. Klein pulling it up and putting another it another three. three. Wow. If, if you don't have outside shooters when there's uh, a defense that's really not letting you have inside shots. Oh, yeah. Then you have to be able to take those opportunities. And they have the chance to get those. Working, going down to the post. And who's going to come out with this? Oh, Klein. man. Klein manages to stop there. I think he would have been going too hard to go in. And we had a there shove on the shot there. Foul there on number 50, Connor Wilson. His first, team second. Rands at the line for two. First shot up and off the front of the rim. Rance has just been ever so slightly out of calibration on those mm -hmm. free throws here tonight. We have Rockwolf back in for the comments. Another outside shooter. But, I mean, all of there. them, they can do a little bit of everything. Right. Sometimes it's really good to have a jack of all trade and master of none. Yeah. Sam oh, Smith yeah. back in for the comments. He's become a real powerhouse underneath. Rockwolf, heavy press here on uh, Son of Frank. 145 left in the quarter. Oh, gambling just a little too much there. Son of Frank shot off the mark. Oh. Put back still off. Comets Let's see if he actually gets the shot off. There we go. Oh, a little ah. too much. There we go. Wow, that was a trip. Yeah. Son of Frank in the paint, and it's good. Wow, that had a lot of arc on it. There was a lot of action both sides right there. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I missed somebody's uh, two-point attempt down on the Warriors end. Oh, the ooh, comments ooh, are got to really watch those passes. Slow down. Well, at this point, both teams need to slow it down. We got a jump okay, ball here. Jump the possession ball. arrow is going to go to the Comets. Coach is not happy with that call. Definitely thinking he was hoping that was a foul. But I think me and a lot of other people would agree that that was a clean jump ball. Yeah. Maybe it's just, I mean, maybe just a little aggressive, but I mean, it was still nothing more than jump ball. North Miami defense really extending out. <laughs> Oh, and travel. travel called on Klein. You know, we just have to keep hoping that the speed of the game isn't going to get to the Comets. I mean, Kim Klein just came off of two straight threes and mm -hmm. came off of a long run of just straight threes. Son of Frank over to Smith. 
Smith around the outside of the arc. Back to Son of Frank. Son of Frank? Son of Frank. Wow. That's... In your face three. Couldn't hit it. But you don't get more in your face than that. And yeah, it's oh, so a charge here. I figured on. it would be a charge. Shane Love's first there. Take Team's third that in the half. Charge. Which, I mean, we're lucky that that is only his first. Right. Right. For instance, we've got Lau sitting on three, although Lau is back out there right Rockwell now. Rockwolf is playing some really, really uptight defense right now. We just hope that he doesn't Yeah. Donaldson there with that in-your-face shot. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. They have a lot of those where they just right in their eye. Oh, yeah. That was Shane Lobb's second. They're not even two feet away, and they up. Donaldson. Sure. Oh. Oh, that's his third. Shane Lobb has now picked up three fouls in less than 20 seconds. Yeah. With 1.2 left in the yeah, third, I mean, though, I'm sure that it'll ride. With, at 15 seconds. He looks like he's just started playing, you know, that he has five and he can't take them home. Yeah, but in a game where you still have a full quarter left, that can... Right. That can be reckless. That Absolutely. Can. And, I mean, also, you don't want to foul out before the end of your senior night either. I mean, you right. always put the seniors all out one more time to play and then bring them out. It would be unfortunate to yeah. not be able to go back out. 30-second timeout called by North Miami. All right. Smith making that second free throw. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. Hey, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 1.2 seconds left here in the third. Comets now with a 26-point lead over the Warriors. And, uh, man, this has been just another aggressive quarter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rockwolf looking for his target, and Rands with that buzzer Very beater, off. and it's short. At the end of three, Comets 56, Warriors 30. We'll be back for fourth quarter action after this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all of your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today Call them at 574-223-6429 or stop by the office located at 824 Main Street in beautiful Rochester, Indiana. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eight more, sec or eight more minutes of regulation here tonight. Comets with a 26-point 26 uh, 26 advantage. And, you know, that's the thing, uh, Aubrey, we were just talking off air that the Warriors have really picked up their uh, defense. But that said, the Comets still absolutely won the third quarter, outscoring. Oh, well, it was that run of three-pointers that oh, yeah. the Warriors just did not shut down. And we have to consider that where when you just get three-pointer after three-pointer, it, it really changes the game really quickly. And ball goes out of bounds. Really, uh, the Warriors there didn't have a hope except for the Comets to mess up because could have touched it and got a backcourt violation yeah. or let it go out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Rockwolf baseline sends it to oh. Sam Smith at the post. Smith Just took an elbow to the there. head. 
son of Frank at the volleyball line. Down to the post to uh, number 44, out. Keegan Donaldson. In and out, Comets rebound. And legitimately, between the uh, three pointers that the Comets have been hitting and the rebounds, that's what's won the night for him so far. Yes. Speaking of threes, in oh, and out for spin. Off. Rand's going man to man with Sana Frank. Long three pointer. Large off the three -pointer. back and if put back would have jumped, good. that would have been an over the back. Like easy, because he just sailed over him. Yeah, it's so hard though when you see the ball right there. It's so hard to not just go, well, I want to take that. Oh yeah. I got called over the back so many times my senior year. It's like, but Look, I've got the ball. I didn't touch him. You played basketball your senior year? Um, yeah, it, not not well. Well. Yeah. Oh, that all was a, the time in the world to line that up. That was a very up. delayed shot. Well, we've had a timeout called, but I don't know timeout by... All right, North Miami, 30-second timeout. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Nutrien Ag Solutions is the world's largest company for crop inputs with more than 1,000 global locations. Nutrien Ag Solutions strive to help growers achieve the highest yields with the most sustainable solutions possible. Stop by their local location just east of Fulton or call at 574-857-3555 or visit online at www.nutrienagsolutions.com to see how Nutrien can help you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I imagine that uh, Coach Davis was telling the guys what you were saying to me off air, that if, uh, if we keep playing the way we've played this first minute and three quarters, that uh, we won't get the night. Oh, there we go. How was that not a foul? Um, like, like there were hugs on the floor. Yeah. Zyda for three. Oh. In and out. And there Smith with the putback. Got hacked apart there by Keegan Donaldson. His yeah. first North team Miami first. really upping their defense. Getting really aggressive. But I also think that they've taken the time to analyze what the refs are giving them. Right. Because that's that's how the game is decided is, okay, what are the refs going to let us do and what are they not? And they are letting right. them play aggressive. I've got to say, though, the comments are really kind of, uh, I mean, they're just having a terrible night from the free throw line. Of course, as mm -hmm. I say that, Smith drops that one. Oh. And we got a foul here. It's a nice pick. Yeah, it was. And then Rams happened to be right place, right time, got that steal. Foul there on number 42, Austin Smith. His first, team fourth. Inbound Warriors not to the really backboard. looking to be in any foul trouble. Shoot that. No. Three pointer for Zyder. I don't know why they just left him wide open like that. They really did. He had all the time to. I mean, he even took the time to think about it. Like, <laughs> right. should I actually shoot this or should I not? Down to the post. Over Shane wow, Lobb, and it's that was good. High up there. That was a pretty impressive shot over a really tall defender. Oh, oh swatted out of bounds by Donaldson. He's should not going to. Probably should have shot that. Not going to let those soft shots come in. Oh. Underneath, Rand's just a little just bit a off little on that. A little hard on that shot. Working up to the line, stops, goes, walks, jumps. Oh, wow. don't give it back. Oh, wow. That was a pretty incredible oh, catastrophe no, there. Muscleman for two, and it's good. Wide open. Oh, I my goodness. I don't know how there wasn't travels called on that. I don't even know what calls should be called, but I'm just surprised nothing was called. Right. There's Brummett oh. for three, off the mark. 
you know, Broman hasn't really gotten much time this year, but he's really making the most of it, like, mm -hmm. while he's in. And, you know, that's really cool to be able to see right. him get that opportunity. Wow, laser beam pass over to Shane Lob. Oh, Spin looking for that double coverage. coverage. He needs help. And foul going to be called wow. here on working, I, I think. Yes, I think working because Tony had his arms up. <laughs> working is yep. like, that wasn't a foul. Uh, it was foul. Dude, you're holding his hands. You, you're not on a date. It was a foul. <laughs> You know, that's just one thing that I, I've never really found respect with is players that argue with refs. Yeah. And yeah. try to call the game. Right. I mean, it's one of those them. things when, when you're doing something nefarious like that, if you get away with it, great. But if you get called on it, just be like, all right, yeah. Yeah. And, uh -uh. you know, there's. Oh, oh. and a travel on Brummett. He, he should have just taken that long, too. But here's the thing. This is where maybe the way that the game has been called so far might come back and bite the Warriors because long three for Musselman. That's off. off. Oh, there we go. Oh. Getting that rebound there. Um, but they, the Warriors have gotten used to a certain amount of leeway and then – and that might be kind of the response there that Working had was, well, I've gotten away with that before. Wow. That, that shot right there is Mike's specialty. That is really his. Oh, that was a travel. Same team, boys. Well, let's face it there. In the, in the uh, heat of the moment trying to get that rebound, it's real easy to say, I don't know who's trying to touch this, but it's Another mine. foul on Working. Picking up his third. That could really help the comments too if they could get working. Fouled out, foul yeah. Foul trouble. I mean, the other, the rest of the team is yes, good, but you can tell working definitely brings a lot of right. energy to the right. to their program. It's just even if it's not necessarily the points on the board, it's that morale. You see yes, the, the team the rallies energy. around him. Comments there with just, a. I say, just let him have that. By Musselman. Musselman going coast to coast with that. <laughs> Rands along the uh, sideline over Shane Lobb. I'm kind of surprised that uh, Lau didn't post up and take a three there. I almost wonder if they're just trying to move the ball and move drain the, the ball, hook. keep it as long as possible, and get some time off the clock to get the best possible shot for them. You know, and that's the game that they've played several times through the course of this, and it's worked really well. Oh, there we go. Still keeping a hold of that. That was pretty incredible. Oh. And that's where the ball movement can, can work against you is when, you know, every time you pass the ball, that's just another opportunity for a miscommunicated pass or a pass that yeah, wasn't hard enough. Yeah, but they just took or, a good minute and oh, a half they, they, off they the clock. They did. I'm not saying it was the wrong play. I'm saying. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah, but it was a travel first. Well, can't the, back to the whole can't argue with the refs. Well, I that's mean, true. They already called it. It happened. That's true. That's Shane Love's fourth. But hey, with two and a half minutes on the clock and a 21-point lead, now is when you spend the rest of your fouls, I guess. Especially. Oh, wait. That kid, he just. Yeah. Say so he just ran out, and you're not allowed to do that while they have the ball. So, I mean, I mean that, that takes one shot away from them. But. And unfortunately for working, he had made that first shot too. Yeah. They definitely could use both of those shots. All right, comments now, once again, smart play is to move the ball around. Oh. Just, uh, and we have a 
Full timeout called by Coach Davis. So we're going to step away for these words from our sponsors on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. As independent wealth management advisors, First Federal Financial Service works with individuals, families, and businesses to help provide for financial security through investing and wealth planning strategies. Whether you're just starting out and accumulating wealth, or retired and need a constant stream of income, First Federal Financial Services will develop a financial plan for your needs. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Aubrey, I just cut you off coming back. I didn't want to miss any of this action. It's been a great game. What we were talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is the time that, that some of these younger athletes are putting in in the off season and in their off time. Um, Cade Zider just basically living at the park, uh, always working on his game there at the basketball courts. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, that's kind of one of the situations where it's like, there's people that, yeah, they're older, but... Oh, oh. Crumman just off the mark on that. He's had three yeah. near falls oh. on those uh, three-pointers here tonight. Working, going to accelerate, draw the foul. I mean, the comments are just trying so hard for Wyatt right now. And, you know, everyone's cheering for them uh, and the comments. Uh, comments now with putting uh, North Miami in the single bonus. First shot rattles out. Comments with that rebound. Oh, need to get across the line, but not into coverage. And we're going to have a timeout called. Good timeout investment there by Coach Davis. So we're going to step away for a couple words from our sponsors on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy, St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. I hit the button and the computer didn't listen to me. I, we can't even describe what we just missed. Uh, so we've got the seniors coming off the floor uh, for this last little bit. And uh, we just had Mike Rands ever so slightly 
uh, or get a backcourt violation and turnover, which is where we are picking up. That was 20 seconds of really good coverage, too. That, it uh, was, but, you know, it was time. Uh, whoa, that, <laughs> that, 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 was, that was a series of events right there. Braden Burns with the three and uh, off the mark, and, yeah, the, that rebound just didn't rebound. It's always unfortunate when, you know, you're a senior and you have to be taken out for the last minute mm -hmm. and. And you just kind of have to sit there and think, yep, this is this is it. This is the right. future, too. Like, it's kind of cool, though. So, like, this is the legacy we're leaving behind. And Right. Because absolutely the caliber of guys that are on the floor right now is just right next to the caliber of the guys who just sat down. Oh, yeah. And I know those boys look up to them a lot. Like, they've, they haven't just brought athleticism. They brought leadership. Yes. You know, people to look up to and to set an example. And after such a successful like season, it really set them up for the years to come, giving them those opportunities. Yep, good ball movement here. Rock Wolf trapped by two. Thomas 16 have seconds. Thomas held the ball for a solid minute now. Oh no, getting passion, in, passion and double coverage. He it, needs to get rid needs of it. Needs to get out. Just throw it at this Kinda point. Oh, <laughs> off of Sam Smith's head. Who that go? Whoa. That stayed in bounds, and that's, that's the, the ball game. All right, final score, Comet 62, Warriors 42. We will be back after a few words from our sponsors. We'll have some uh, post-game stats here, and Coach Davis will be up to join us. This has been Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. I remember what it was like to buy my first home. I was nervous, but with the help of First Federal Savings Bank mortgage experts, you have no need to worry. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy working with first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer loan program, there is no PMI and as little as 5% down payment is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in need of a great insurance plan? Let Evans Agency help you with plans covering home, vehicle, life, business, farm, health, and senior insurance. With over 16 years of experience, Evans Agency will be sure to match you with the perfect plan. Visit them at www.evansagencyrochester.com or call today at 574-224-6988 for a free quote. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver letting you know that our pre-owned inventory has a history with no mystery. Most are one owner, local trade-ins. We inspect each trade as if our own child was going to be the next owner. We do a 40 point inspection including brakes, tires, and wiper blades. Next we review and update the scheduled maintenance. At Oliver Ford and Lincoln in Plymouth, a pre-owned purchase is a worry-free purchase. First Federal Savings Bank can help you remodel your home, consolidate debt, or even provide a little spending cash with our home equity line of credit. Our standard home equity line of credit 
allows you to draw funds for up to 10 years and comes with no closing costs for qualified customers. Take advantage of this great opportunity. Contact one of our local experienced lenders or apply online at firstfederalbanking.com. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are just concluding a really awesome Comet Senior Night where they uh, they left the floor with a 20-point victory over the North Miami Warriors. Joining me on the other headset right now is Comet's head coach, Carl Davis. Uh, coach, welcome up to the table. Thank you. And uh, a lot happier interview this evening than a couple yeah. we had. Um, really great numbers for the Comets tonight overall. Shot 10 for 24 outside. 15 for 21 inside the arc. Unfortunately, only two for eight from the free throw line. Uh, just massively out shooting the Warriors who at best went 50% in any stat. Uh, from the sideline though, what would you like to see better? What, did, what were you really happy with? You know, I, I thought, you know, overall first half and uh, a good part of the third quarter, I thought, I thought we did a pretty solid job on both ends of the floor. Uh, defensively making them earn things and, and not giving, giving up easy buckets. And, you know, offensively, I thought we did a really good job of working the ball inside out and finding shooters tonight. And, you know, like you, I think you said 10 to 24 there, that, that's a pretty good number. And any time you're, you're, you're hitting that from the perimeter, uh, you make it really tough to guard. And, you know, that's something, you know, we, we haven't shot the ball extremely well the last, the last few weeks here. And uh, it's good to see, see the ball start going in. I thought we, you know, we started that a little bit on uh, Tuesday night with the North White game, started to hit some perimeter shots. And then tonight, obviously, uh, Cade Zider really got us going from the outside. And then Cam Klein had a great night. When Cam, Cam and uh, Cade are both hitting on the same night, uh, we have a lot of success for obvious reasons, and they've had a few games where they've ta they've uh, they've tag teamed that pretty well, and I thought they shot it extremely well tonight. Uh, you know, inside, I thought the first half we got the ball inside really well and scored. I thought North Miami did a little bit better job uh, in in the interior defensively in the second half, and and we needed to do a little bit better job of moving the basketball side to side and getting those uh, inside looks. But you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to argue with open open looks on the perimeter that we got uh, in the third quarter to kind of stretch that lead out even more. Oh, absolutely. Aubrey and I were just so impressed with the with the guys' cognizance, uh, with the way they were moving the ball around and just controlling the clock, controlling the floor, waiting for their shots, and then dropping it. It was really imp impressive basketball tonight. I uh, hope that, of course, you guys have a, a week and a day of rest now before uh, sectionals. You think that that's going to be beneficial rest, or is it going to serve to ice the guys? What are you, what are you thinking here? Yeah, I think it's great uh, for us to have an opportunity here to get a week of practice in, and you know, really the way our February schedule set up, we really don't get uh, many days in a row, and, and especially with the with the weather the way it's been, um, you know, we we get about two practices max between games, and you know, so having the opportunity here uh, to to have a week to, uh, where you know the first few days we can work on us because we don't know who our opponent is yet, and then. Uh, you know, after Tuesday night, we'll have be able to be a little bit more specific about who we're playing. But just to have have some time to work on, you know, really hone in our fundamentals and make sure we sharpen some things up will be great for us here in the next week. All right. Well, excellent, Coach. Uh, always a pleasure. And thanks for coming up. And we look forward to seeing the guys on Friday next week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look forward to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will uh, get Aubrey back on the air. Uh, once again, don't forget... Uh, if you are in the Rochester Fulton greater area uh, tomorrow, come have lunch at Caston High School. Yeah, in, you in, can come meet the uh, face behind the camera. <laughs> if you're lucky, the face behind the camera that you're going to meet is Aubrey. If Aubrey, you're very yes. unfortunate, <laughs> you'll meet me. Uh, once again, that's 9815 South State Road 25. It's a Rochester address, but we are just three miles south of Fulton. If you're coming from the other way, we are about six miles north of Media. That's a little bit weirder to say. Anyway, um, 10.30 to 1.30 tomorrow, come around to door six. You're gonna come in by the greenhouse on the northeast corner of the building. Uh, thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Really happy to see a, a cast and senior night victory. Uh, join RTC4 next week for sectional play. Uh, we will be hosting here at Caston on Tuesday, South Newton versus Pioneer. And on Friday, I uh, believe the winner of that, I don't know if it's the winner of that game 
versus Kasten or the winner of the other game. It doesn't matter. We will have uh, coverage on Tuesday and Friday on RTCTV4.com. Until next time, I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Aubrey Degg, and we appreciate Autumn's work on the camera here tonight. Uh, until next time, be safe. This is RTC TV4. Thank you.